Welcome to Crater Lake National Park. Hiking down the Cleetwood Cove Trail, which goes all the way down to the lake. And then we're gonna take a boat out to Wizard Island. Thanks for joining me, geology professor Sean Wilsey. Uh, I thought I'd break this one up into segments and show you a little bit of this little adventure and parts to the journey. The plan is to hike down to the lake, uh, get on the shuttle that takes you out to the island. Once we get out to the island, we'll hike up to the top of Wizard Island, which is the youngest um, volcanic event that's taken place here at Crater Lake. Uh, hike back down, take the shuttle back across, and then hike back up this trail. Um, I guess this trail drops about 700 feet in a mile or so, so it's a little steep. But we'll go ahead and sign off for now on a bit of a smoky day. I guess it was actually worse um, the last couple days. They weren't even doing the boat shuttles because the visibility was awful. So I'll be grateful for what I've got. Um, but when we get down to the water's edge, maybe do a little video showing you how clear and uh, beautiful the water is. And then maybe a little bit more as we go across the lake and are out on the island. So stay tuned as we go on this little adventure together. Here we are down along the shores of Crater Lake. Just this beautiful blue, crystal clear water. Um, I believe it's the deepest lake in North America. I'll have to check on that, but pretty deep. And the lack of streams that flow into it means that the water here doesn't have uh, suspended solids in it. So no sediment load, let's say. And so that's what adds to its incredible clarity. Um, it's just entirely fed by rainfall into the caldera along with um, snowmelt that occurs here. Pretty spectacular. Um, looking straight across here to Wizard Island where we're going to head next, just waiting for the boat shuttle. Welcome to the top of Wizard Island in the middle of Crater Lake <clears throat> in Oregon. Um, took the boat shuttle across and then a bit of a strenuous hike to the top here. Um, we're nearly as high as some of the rims of the caldera, such as over there. Here we are looking south at Lao Rock. Um, awesome. This was definitely on my sort of minor bucket list of places to get to was to get out into the middle of this lake um, and just appreciate the view. We'll try to give you a nice little panoramic view around here. Of course, like any uh, well-respected, well-behaved cinder cone, it's got a nice little crater at the summit here. So it's probably a pretty easy walk around the rim. Um, and while we walk around the rim and take in the sights, um, let's just address the elephant in the room. Um, this is a big geologic pet peeve of mine. I need some counseling for it, but maybe you'll see the the wisdom in what I have to say and maybe you'll take a similar stance. So my big beef here is with the with the name of this national park, Crater Lake. Now if you know where the name Crater and Caldera, what they actually mean uh, geologically, I think you'll see my point here. So a crater in geologic terms is a pit where stuff gets thrown out. So here's a great example of a crater. At the top of Wizard Island, we have a crater. This was the vent for this eruption. Clots of lava were being thrown into the air, blasted out of this pit right here, and eventually all that material accumulated around the vent to form the crater. So a crater is when you when stuff in terms of volcanoes is where stuff gets blasted out and you end up with a pit this lake though sits in a very different type of feature it sits in a caldera a big huge depression that was formed by collapse not by stuff being blown out now stuff being blown out was 
ultimately the cause, but the actual depression that the lake sits in with these steep cliffs on all sides, this is a caldera because this whole area collapsed. Mount Mazama collapsed in on itself to form this huge depression uh, we know as a caldera. So Crater Lake National Park? I don't think so. I think we need to change the name to Caldera Lake National Park. So I urge you all to write your senators, your congressmen or women, uh, let's rally the troops. Let's get this thing fixed. Um, you know, I'm not going to look back and blame whoever whoever put the name to this place, but let's get it right. Let's fix let's fix this mistake and let's make it geologically correct. So from henceforth, I will try to refer to this place as Caldera Lake and Caldera Lake National Park because that's actually more more appropriate to what we have here. So, okay, rant over. Someone can maybe make the merchandise, the t-shirts, um, rename Crater Lake, or just how about some shirts and some merch that just says Caldera Lake National Park. You know, just like the stuff you buy at the gift shop. But let's just change the name and let's just slowly but surely um, get folks re-educated and reacclimated to this new regime. Um, Okay, so a couple of geologic things I can point out here. Uh, and maybe I'll take a photo of this and annotate it. But if you can see the contact at the bottom of Lao Rock, um, you can see it, how massive it is, how thick it is right here. And then it tapers off to the left and around the corner to the right. So that's a lava flow actually filling a depression. So you do get a sense as you work your way around the lake of the topographic surfaces that were here, that this was not, you know, it was a volcano, of course, but there was topography in it. Uh, vents were erupting in different locations at different times. It was a very dynamic system. Um, looking to the east, the high point in the distance, that's Mount Scott. Let's see if we can swing around over here to the, to the south side. Um, I think most of these trees up here are limber pines, based on what I know. And the rock type up here looks a lot like basalt, um, but I believe it's a basaltic andesite. So it's a little stickier, a little more silica rich than a typical basalt. And didn't really produce much of a lava flow, uh, mainly just produced this cone. What's interesting about Wizard Island is um, while in the grand scheme of the lake, Caldera Lake. It seems to be kind of a small volcano amongst all these other volcanoes. It's actually a pretty formidable uh, sized volcano in its own right. I think I read something that like only 2% of its volume is actually above the lake. So a good chunk of this volcano's volume lies uh, below the water line and below the lake level, which is pretty remarkable. And then even though it's late August, uh, there's still patches of snow. Maybe you can see that little patch of white out there clinging to uh, the shoreline of the lake in places. Nice cinders up here. It's basically scoria material blown out from the volcano. And then let's Let's head over to the the west side and we'll uh, we'll wrap this section up over there. All right, here we are on the west side of the island looking down at some of the lava flows that almost reach the, the far shore. Maybe at some point if the rock falls continue, that apron will get built out and eventually link the island up. Um, can't quite see it here, but the boat docks back down this way off the south side. So one last little nice slow panoramic view of just this gorgeous blue lake and do you remember the name caldera lake caldera lake national park so awesome thanks for joining me geology professor sean wilsey here at wizard island in caldera lake national park uh, appreciate you joining me on this little adventure and be sure to uh like share subscribe if you want to donate help out my cause here of geologic education there's a PayPal link under the video description. There's a thanks button at the bottom right of the viewer. 
and then there's the donate button on the home page as well so until next time well thanks for joining me on this little adventure to wizard island i'll spare you the boat ride back in the the big uphill hike going back up just down here by the dock waiting for the boat but i thought it would be somewhat appropriate to end this little video with a jump in the lake so hopefully i survive here we go Very cold. Very cold. Whew. Thanks for watching.